Win a home on Afternoon Express where you, the viewer, can win one of three luxury apartments at Valdivia Estate in the Cape Winelands worth over 3 million rand. Designed by our three contestants using finishes provided by Caesarstone and Plascon. Welcome back to Winner Home on Afternoon Express. Our design contestants have less than a week left to complete their final challenge, the lounge. It's the last opportunity to blow the judges away. So each of them met up with their mentors to discuss plans. Take a look. So now all of the decisions, all the creative decisions that you've been working towards in all the various rooms are going to culminate in your, your living area, which is really, really exciting to see. And obviously the centre of that living room is your rug, and so this decision is really important. It's going to, for me, it's a game changer. It's, you're going to make or break the space. So maybe if you want to take me through your options. Well, what I'm looking for is a rug that's very bold, uh, that has a sense of African in it. Um, I'm looking to define this, the lounge as a space on its own, so I'm looking for a rug that's going to stand out and be very bold and something that's going to wow people. This one specifically, um, I like the, the pattern. It has that African feel that I'm looking for. So it's definitely going to stand out. And as always, I'm willing to take risk. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> and the colors, I like how it has the black, which is going to reference the steel that I'm bringing into the space. So your first option for me is strong. I think it's interesting in terms of the color. It's kind of cheeky with this rust masala color. And I love the way that the chartreuse is going to tie in nicely with your curtains. Right, I think this is probably my favorite. Now this one, I really like the transition between the patterns. I like the colors, how they come together. I like how it picks up on the terracotta that's mm -hmm. used in the kitchen. And that bit of white is going to work well with the rest of the room that I'm keeping white. And with the feature wall that's standing out. I think it's going to be very interesting in the space. It could be way too much, um, but at the same time, I think it, it could just sing, it could pop. And then our last option. Out of the three now, this one is definitely a no-brainer. I can already see the rug in the space. I can already see it working with my coffee table that I'm bringing in with the nice black Caesar stone with the white grain. Oh, can't wait to see that. Which will definitely work. I'd say this is the safest option for me. I'm definitely considering it because it's really nice. Well, the best thing is we don't have to make a decision now. There's a lot of variables. Um, let's take all three, take them to the site and see which works best on site. I think I have a tough decision to make. We do. So Michelle, I need your honest opinion on my TV unit that I've designed. What do you think? Well, it's a lot bigger than I thought it would be in the room space, but it was a design that I know you wanted right from word go. So I've got a few questions for you. If someone moves in and they want a different color, well, that's, that's the nice thing about the product, is you only need to apply universal undercoat from Plascon and they're after any color of choice. So it's quite okay. versatile in that sense. I love the fact that all the wires are disguised, everything is concealed, but what are you going to do with a large television? Well, that can also be done. So this was made from MDF. So it makes it easy to change to any desirable size. Um, all you need to do is just enlarge the opening to your liking and then use the um, plaster repair mortar. It does feel, I must say, it does feel light. Yeah. What I do like about it also, it's a, it's a fixture and it will add some more value to the space because it is fixed. Okay, so how are you going to soften the rest of the room with this look? I will soften the space with the slidable moving panel that will hide the TV and that will introduce that equestrian feel with that leather that is contrasted with the white sofa that we have at the back and this fabric from LRT's um, that's a leisure and bindly provided for us. And the beautiful swivel chair from Maoka, how are you going to utilize that? It's a really exciting piece, it's a really important piece within this room. Um, with its position there by the sliding door, you can see the inside and the outside at the same time. The, appreciate the beautiful views, mm. um, see how the architecture of this interior TV unit um, relates to the architecture of the outside. Okay, so where are you going to position this coffee table that you've got on order? I think it should still be positioned over here, um, so we do have that more space here for movement in the front. And it'll be softened with greenery and books. Beautiful, yeah. Okay. Team BC's apartment is a very clean and minimalist space, so we need a centerpiece that's quite linear and light. The colours I chose are very natural and a lot of whites and a few black accents throughout the space. So I'm looking for a table that would be a good centerpiece for our units and that's not too heavy but would add a wow factor to the space. 
John, I, I totally agree with you. What we need is a real signature piece that will be the center of that room. And I love the idea of using glass as a top to keep it light and see-through and not a big, heavy statement in the room. You know, I definitely think Team VC has come to the right place. El Toro is a custom-designed company and we do specialize in having very light-framed, minimalist items designed. So, and the item that I've got in mind is extremely light and reusable. So if you want to move it into a different space, you can use it for a desk or a dining room table as well. I know you mentioned, you spoke about the linear lines that you guys have um, in the apartment, but I think to bring something a little bit more different to the table, pardon my pun, um, we can actually create, by using this item, it sort of contradicts the whole thing of just having something linear and quiet where you have one piece that focuses everything in the room on this piece and becomes this expressive piece that brings everything together. We would like to work with a 16mm rod. The idea behind using that profile is the fact that it's a very thin and minimalist steel look. Just adding to this and adding to the lightness of this, just add a beautiful 10mm glass piece on top of that. I absolutely yes, love, it. love it. I think it's <laughs> fabulous. It's exactly what we want and we're going to win. <laughs> Exciting. Now, the lucky winner of our grand prize draw will win their choice of one of the three apartments our design contestants are working on at Veldevi, one of South Africa's premier estates. Now, last week, Danilo went to check out the security features of the estate, and earlier this week, he went back and got a lesson in horse riding. <laughs> Here at Val de Vie, both the residents and the horses get treated like royalty. Today, I am being treated to my first ever polo lesson, which could be your new sport if you've entered to win a home on Afternoon Express. I'm intrigued to see how we can get this lesson going, but on a metal horse? Are we Trojans or...? <laughs> Dan, what we've got here is Henry. Henry okay. is where you're going to start. Hello, Henry. Henry is for a reason. Henry doesn't move. If you hit Henry's legs, Henry's legs don't break. <laughs> so without too much ado, let's get you on. Cool, let's hop on. And you've ridden before? Yes, I've ridden horses before as a child. I used to get involved in all the dressage stuff too. Comfortable. Right. You're such a comfortable rider. Good horsey. <laughs> Great. Dan, I think what we're going to do is start by changing your hand position. You're going to yeah. be playing polo. You're going to need one hand to hold a stick. True. You're going to hold one rein. Across there, turn your hand the other way around. There we go. Okay. Put your hand, right hand out. I'm going to put that grip through, turn around, and grab the stick like that. And how are we going to turn? You're going to twist, get out of the saddle, and you're going to take your arm out dead straight. Your head's going to be over the ball. Oh, I you're see. You're going to come down, and you're going to swing through, hit the ball and you're going to come back into that position. Kevin, in all my years of horse riding, I've seen lessons for outrides, trail runs, beach rides, but I've never seen polo lessons. That's what excites me the most about Valdivy. What, in your opinion, do you think sets this equestrian estate apart from any other in the country or the world? Valdivy's equestrian estate is unrivaled because we are now have expanded out to Pearl Valley. We're going to now include a riding school. We're in the process of designing an indoor polo arena which will be holding international show jumping events so where your polo is a summer sport we will be able to play right through the season and play indoor polo in in one of those so whatever you do show jumping dressage polo you can do it on this one estate and the facilities are world class really really superb let's just see what happens here today wow brilliant hey look at me Uh, there we go. Threw me over there. You need a bit of help? You can't throw me under the bus, you can throw me over the horse. I might look like an 18th century uh, sort of traveler or adventurer, but this is what legit polo players look like. And is incredible. He's done phenomenally. He's not missed one ball and taken to this like a duck to water. It's most certainly not common for somebody to pick it up as quickly as this. Normally, people are clearly worried about the horse, which he's not. And he's done incredibly well. All hats off to him. 
Man, these creatures are so regal. What a fun game to learn to play. And this could be your playground very, very soon. Another man who's had to learn to play polo because of his brand new lifestyle is Rake Nietling. Rake, I hope you were or were not watching then. How did I do? I was watching and uh, not bad. It's not as good as my first time, but I think it was pretty good for a first time. Thank you. So did the trainer say so. Apparently you took a few more extra swings to get it right, but so be it. <laughs> it's not as glamorous on the hair as I would have imagined, so I'm keeping my hat on while we have this chat. Why has Valdevi decided to incorporate the equestrian lifestyle into the estate? Obviously here in the Wildlands, you know, it's a very popular activity. A polo field like this just creates an incredible you know, feeling of space. It's five and a half hectares. We've got two of these and we cater for some of the other equestrian activities as well, like dressage and we do outrides here. So just also creates a very nice feeling to have the horses in between the homes and uh, the equestrian really works for us. Rake, what happens if you're somebody like me who doesn't own a horse? Can I still enjoy all the activities? Absolutely. We've, you know, we've got horses here in the stable that we, that we use for lessons. We have lots of events. We play polo four times a week, and it's an ideal place to just come sit on the porch, enjoy just a glass of wine or a glass of bubbly, watch these amazing athletes go for out rides. We've got uh, miles of trails that you can enjoy. So it's really you know, something special. It's also so close to Cape Town that you can you know, just come out here and, and uh, kind of switch off. What was your experience like starting out learning about polo and where are you now? Well, my love for the sport really started here. Um, I was watching polo from that porch there for, you know, for many years. Always wonder what it would be like to be on the horse. About a year ago, decided, okay, that's enough of the watching. I have to get on there. Got some lessons from Nacho Figueres, which is one of the you know, top polo players in the world, also here from Kevin. It's been one season, I look forward to the next season. Hopefully I can improve. I don't think you're ever too old to learn how to play polo. And uh, here at Valdivie, we cater from the beginners all the way to the, you know, the best in the world. Well, I'm definitely a beginner and what a rush it was. I'd love for you to experience this too. This could be your new backyard. All you have to do is go to privateproperty.co.za, click on the winner home link and vote for your favorite room. That will automatically enter you into the grand prize competition where you can win a home right here on the Valdivie estate. So make sure you enter now. That's Danilo Acquisto with your Polo down. Remember that by voting for your favorite design contestants lounge, you stand a chance of winning paint from Plascon to the value of 5,000 Rand and you automatically get entered into the grand prize draw. Here's how. It's not called win a home for nothing. You, the viewer, can win one of three completed apartments at Valdivie Estate, valued at more than 3 million rand, by voting for your favorite design contestant's lounge on privateproperty.co.za. Win a home is proudly brought to you by Private Property in association with NetBank.